And away from there, Odiapo Obire is the governorship candidate of the Progressive People's Alliance in Delta State, south-south of Nigeria. He has now joined us to talk about his aspiration and vision for governance in the state if he gets the chance to serve. It's good to have you with good us. Good to have you there. Thank you. Now, I'm sure probably you've been asked this a thousand times. Now, why the governorship race? You could have chosen other level of governors to vie for public office. So why this particular position? Yes, um, I decide to heed to the call of the people because um, governance in Delta um, has been somehow uh, terrible. Mm. The people have been shortchanged for too long. In a state that is so endowed, yet the people are poor. It's pathetic. I am not um, seeking relevance. I am not doing this because I want to be added to the names of governors in Delta. But I see the pain of the people. Okay. And if I have to spend the little I have to save the larger uh, masses, in Delta State would be better for everyone. We need to see a Delta where things will work, a Delta where we'll go back to, a Delta where families mm. will be at the table and not eat from crumbs. This inspired my interest to run for the office of the governor. Of Delta State. All so right, um, I'll, um, I will be asking you two part question. Yes. And the first one is you said you needed to eat to the call of the people. Yes. Then the second part is how do you hope to change the narrative in Delta State? You complained about the governance in Delta State for the past so many years, since ever since it was actually created. Mm -hmm. So how do you intend to change the narrative? And you saying you want to eat to the call of the people. What have you done to the grassroots in Delta State, to the people in grassroots in Delta State? Yes, I, I have a foundation, the Greater Delta Foundation, which has been, I've been using to touch the life of the people at the grassroots level. Uh, we are um, more focusing on education, um, the health support and vocation because um, the people don't really need much. They just need the basics to keep their life going. So the narratives have to change. First, we must uh, change the mindset of the people mm -hmm. that they don't need to look at the messenger but the message, because they are used to listening mm. and looking at the messenger and not the message the person is giving. So it's a tradition that must be broken. It's a tradition that negates development and sustainable uh, activities in the state. So if we must get it right. First, we must fight the fight against corruption, mm. against poverty, and change the mindset of the people so we can have a government that we create that enabling environment for every Delta to flourish. All right, in view of uh, what you've just said, let's take a look at uh, the platform on which you're running, that's the PPA. Yes. Now, in terms of uh, synergy among Delta State uh, citizens, how has your party fared? Uh, your party is still relatively unknown in that region. Uh, you know, regarding the other behemoths you have there, the APC, the PDP, and you know, several others. Yes, this is, this is one of the areas I'm trying to make you understand mm. that the tradition of, if it is not PDP, mm. it is APC, has to go down. Because these are messages. These are the messengers. 
They are not looking at the messages. What are they preaching? They've been preaching the same thing over and over again, and they have failed the people. Yes, PPA might be new mm -hmm. in the face of people, but at the same time, we are spread across the 25 local governments in Delta State. All right. Our structure is strong enough to go into the elections because we are concentrating on the grassroots. And the message we are preaching, the message we are giving to the people is there is a new delta coming to place. Well, what has been the response of the people, the synergy? Yes, it's been awesome. It's been awesome for we to have the number of followership. Mm -hmm. If you watch the, the news or the video of our uh, governorship primary election mm -hmm. through the state congress that happened on the 6th of October, you will see the, the volume and the number of people that believe in the new Delta, that believe that things should be done differently from what has been in place. So when you say differently, okay. is it uh, about the uh, deviation from money politics? As yes, were? of course. And can that factor be taken away from it? Can money be taken away from politics? Yes, money can be taken away from politics if the mindset of the people are worked on. Because systematically, they are colonized. Mm -hmm. They are used to a tradition that this is how things are done. And that is why we are preaching to the youth, your future is being sold every day. They are patronizing you. They are, they are tightening your button. If you add the past 16 years to your year, to, as of today, mm -hmm. you will see that you have lost a, a lot. And the people they use in disrupting the electoral process, kidnapping, killing of perceived enemies mm -hmm. and all that, are the youths. We have to work on the youths. The youths need to understand that their future is at stake. We want to run a government, a government where youth will occupy 70% okay. of our government. Uh, all right, sir. Um, Delta actually has lots of ethnics inside that particular region, if you know what I mean. Yes. And there's something that is a little bit of rotational you could get to see is people from the Ijers, the Shekiris, or probably um, the, the Anyocha that gets to rule. But with this, your party coming up, do you, don't you actually see this as another force that could be an issue in getting into power? Because they believe it has to be rotational. You see, zoning. Okay. If I may understand where you're coming from. Yes. Zoning is what you're referring to. Yes. And zoning negates. Zoning is evil. But well, that's actually been what has been working in Delta states. That is why things are the way they are. When you zone, you negate the best hands. You stop them from coming in. And the People Democratic Party, it is their, it is, it is their own idea. It is not the idea of the Nigerian constitution that we should zone. Are you, are you are getting you? what I'm mm, saying? Yeah. So if you are trying to say because when you zone, mm. then the minority will have the opportunity to rule, it doesn't make sense to me. Mm. Because in that minority, if there is someone there, that can make things happen for the state. Look into his message. Don't look at him. Mm. What is he preaching? What is he bringing to the table? Right. Then with that, then we, we, we can give out and trust our vote and the state into his hands and watch how he drives the activities. All right. Very good, uh, Let's take a look at uh, this issue the single resource that can turn around the fortunes of Delta State right now. What will that be? And how do you hope to harness that, you know, and factor that into uh, what you desire for Delta people? Great. It is unfortunate that we have governors in the past who are focused 
on federal allocations. Mm. And that is a weakness in thinking. Okay. Now, Delta State is vast, right? We have nobody is concentrating on agriculture. Nobody is concentrating on the area of industrialization. Nobody is concentrating on health, tourism, even the entertainment industry. But one would have expected all the allocations get, you know, gotten from the federal government over the years should have been channeled towards that. It is unfortunate you cannot give what you don't have. It is not about how long you have been in the corridors of governance. You were, okay, probably you were a PA from PA to local government chairman, from local government chairman to, to commissioner, from commissioner to, to SSG to whatever, to whatever you become governor. It doesn't give you that experience. It doesn't give, that is not experience, right? You were just climbing the ladder. You have no, apart from being in that circle, mm. where have you been in the economic sector? Now, going back to that resource issue. Yes. Now, going back to that resource issue, it is, it is it's, it's unfortunate that with the much, even the past six months, right, mm. Delta has received about $102 billion right, which is the highest in the entire country from the federal allocation. But when it rains today in Asaba, you cannot move around. Even the governor cannot drive out of his compound because there is fraud. There's flood everywhere. There are no roads. Education is the base. If you want to destroy a country today, you don't need all the, the, the arsenals, all the military, whatever, just destroy the educational system, and you have finished the country. Now, education is debased in Delta State. It is failure of governance to have more private schools than public schools. Now you have a budget of 360 something billion for 2019, and 24 billion is allocated to education. That is terrible. Less than 9% is allocated to education. How do you intend to make things work proper? Health, our hospitals have become a place where people go to die, not to be saved. It is sad. You, we need to take healthcare to the people and, and not the people running after healthcare. Very good, uh, and uh, indeed, uh, because of time, we will have to end there for this segment of the bulletin or Diapo or Biri, uh, Progressive People's Alliance uh, governorship candidate uh, for Delta State, South South Nigeria. Thank you. Uh, we thank wish you so good much. luck in your quest to become a governor. I would like to thank you for being a part of the program. Thank you so much. All the best. I appreciate it.